Hey guys, Sasha for NetbookNews.com with the Asus ePad Transformer Prime running ice cream sandwich. And as you know, uh, with a tablet, you definitely want to have a decent browser. So we're taking, uh, we've been taking a look at uh, quite some different ones. We have the Dolphin Browser HD, the default Android browser, the Firefox browser, and Opera Mobile. And here is the newest release from Google. It's the Chrome Beater, and it's only available on ice cream sandwich so far. And Nicole has been trying it out on her Galaxy Nexus already. And right now we're checking it out on the ePad Transformer. Prime. So let's open this little fellow over here and as you can immediately see, it absolutely reminds you of the desktop version. So you have um, uh, your most visitor site over here and here down on the bottom you have uh, the recently closed ones. Plus it's also syncing magically with the bookmarks of your desktop version. So when you're checked in or logged in into your Chrome browser on your desktop and you're logged in with your Google account to your Chrome browser on your tablet, it will automatically sync the bookmarks in between the tablet version or the mobile version and um, your desktop. Plus, we have another tab over here saying other devices. And let's check that out. And it's synced with Nicole's Galaxy Nexus. So she can also see the bookmarks that she has on her Nexus over here. So that's pretty decent, definitely. But let's go back. And um, what I would like to show you is right now um, a couple of websites. So you're getting an idea about the performance of this device. And how about going to one of our favorite mobile computing websites on the web, which is netbooknews.com. Yay! While this one is loading, um, I've been opening the desktop version or the desktop view of YouTube because right now it's not supporting Flash and therefore it, it's running uh, an HTML5 version of YouTube and as you can see, well first of all this is a beater but uh, in terms of rendering speed this looks uh, especially on YouTube, uh, kind of lame, sorry to say that. How about opening uh, a video of our friends uh, um, into mobile.com so you can see how that looks like. Here you go. You saw that there was no plugin available for the Flash version and now it's just running the HTML5 one. The Chrome browser actually doesn't have any plans to support Flash, according to Adobe, which is pretty interesting. That's definitely very interesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, it also seems that it doesn't have any plans to play back this mm -hmm. little video over here, which might be a matter of our internet right now. Are we connected? We are connected to the white one, and I'm pretty sure that I switched off my uh, my torrent. <laughs> now look at this. As soon as it I want to switch to a higher resolution, right? I'm just constantly getting, ah, oh, it's just a pain in the ass, I tell you that. But over here, at least it works on 360p without any problem. Right. Hey guys, Blake here from Into Mobile. It's a quick look at the, from... But it feels kind of sluggish. Replacing the stock Android for limited to Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. Actually, this is also a video about um, Chrome on a Nexus and on a tablet. Um, let's go to netbooknews.com. Well, unfortunately, we have the mobile version running up over here right now. How about news.google.com? Uh, let's, let's choose this Aussie news website. And uh, while this website is loading, guys, why aren't we taking a look at the different browser benchmarks? Uh, we did some JavaScript benchmarks with SunSpider of the different Dolphin browser, default browser, Firefox, Opera Mobile, and the Chrome. Check it out. So yeah, pretty interesting to see that Firefox is coming out on top and uh, uh, followed by the Opera mobile browser. Anyways, we are on news.com.au and uh, it's still loading and I tell you what, 
<laughs> I'm sorry, it still sucks. <laughs> it's a beater, keep that in mind, right? But the rendering speed is, um, well, as soon as the whole site is loaded, it's okay, as you can see. Now scrolling is, is fast. Um, pinch to zoom is okay. If I'm comparing this, for example, to Firefox, there's definitely quite a difference. But anyways, keep in mind, again, this is a beater. Uh, it already looks pretty good. Uh, it reminds me of the desktop version, and especially when you're using Chrome on your desktop, you definitely want to take a look at it because this feature of bookmark syncing uh, uh, with your desktop version, also with the one that you have on your phone, is definitely a huge plus. So this is the first look at the Chrome browser for Ice Cream Sandwich on the ePad Transformer Prime. I'm Sasha from NetbookNews.com. Thanks for watching.